All right, there's another video for 2HT and 2VT about exercise 65. This time about exercise E and F. Because here you have uh, two brackets, and unfortunately there's not a zero here, but a 12. So I'd like to show you what you have to do. Now, if there were a zero here, then the exercise would be a lot easier. I'm going to show you that in a moment with 65F. If there's anything else than a zero here, then unfortunately we have to work out these brackets. So you have to do x times x, x times 3, 1 times x, and 1 times 3. So this is what you get. x times x is x squared. x times minus 3 is minus 3x. x times 1 is plus 1x. And 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. And then we're going to move this 12 to the other side. So minus 12 equals 0. Now let's simplify this a bit before we continue. So we have x squared. And then minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2x. And minus 3 and minus 12 is minus 15. So this is what you have now. And now we have, uh, have to factorize it again. We see three different things. So you have to use the product sum method. That means that you have to find two numbers. If you multiply them, you get minus 15. And when you add them, you get minus 2. So then you have x minus 5 and x plus 3. Because if you multiply them, you get that. And when you add them, you get that. So now we have x minus 5 in brackets times x plus 3 in brackets. So we can split it up. Like x minus 5 is 0 or x plus 3 is 0. So that means that x is 5 or x is minus 3. So this is how you do that. So it's kind of big as you can see. Now I want to show you what happens if you already have a 0 here. If you already have a 0 then you don't have to work out the brackets. So don't start doing that because otherwise you're going to have a really bad time. Maybe I'll show you here what happens if you actually do work out the brackets. But because it's already factorized you can just say 2x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. So just the things that are in the brackets. And then here we have to move the 1 to the other side, so 2x equals minus 1. That means that x is minus a half. And on the other side, we have, well, we just move the 4 to the other side, so x is 4. Okay. So this is how you do that. Now, if you actually work out the brackets, you're going to have a really, really bad time solving it. We have uh, 2x plus 1, and then here we have x minus 4. So again, because it says 0 here, you don't have to work it out. But if you accidentally do, you get... 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. And then 1 times x is just x. And 1 times 4 is minus 4. So when we factorize this a little bit, we get 2x squared minus 7x uh, minus 4. Yes, just like that. Let me see if I actually did it correct. Yes. Okay, and this equals 0. And because there's a 2 here, we cannot use the product sum method. So we have to divide everything by 2 now before you want to do that. So that's already something that we didn't do before. Right? So then you get this, and then we get 3 and a half here. So you get a very annoying number, and you get minus 2 here. Okay. So as you can see, this is uh, kind of bad. And I need to factorize this, so I need to find two numbers. If you multiply them, you get 2, and when you add them, you get minus 3 and a half. So that's very difficult to do. Now, if someone actually does know how to figure this out, right, the numbers that you have to have here are minus 4 and a half. Yeah, because if you multiply that, you get minus 2. And when you add that, you get minus 3 and a half. So then x minus 4 equals 0. So x is going to be 4. Or x plus a half is 0. So x is minus a half. So we get the same answers, so you see we did it correct. But this is much easier than all of this. Also this has a couple of things that we didn't do earlier. We didn't do this step from there to there and also we've not done the product sum method with broken numbers. So yeah. So if you see a zero here, don't work out the brackets. That's the that's the point here. Thank you for watching.